most people don't know what loneliness really feels like. There may be some girl that didn't get 10 DMs in a given hour and she goes, I'm so lonely, no one cares about me. That's not loneliness. You're going to look outside and you're going to see everyone in their groups, everyone acting the part, everyone saying the right things to one another and things just happening for them. And you're the odd man out in the corner observing, wondering, why aren't you a part of that? So you're going to go home and you're going to sit down in your chair in your dark room. You're going to turn off the lights, maybe open up your screen and you're going to stare at the ceiling and you're going to wonder, why am I here? What am I here for? Should I even be here? And that's been my life for about couple years now maybe since I was 14 but some of us were just chosen to be outcasts from a young age not chosen by any particular god in my opinion but just chosen by probability right and so some of us never will experience the normal lifestyle we will be subject to mental anguish and mental isolation for much of our lives if we ever get lucky enough to discover someone or some people that will understand us but if not then that may be our fates as a result of my mental isolation and my sheltered upbringing i never feel i never felt like i really grew up i do still have many childish tendencies and I have a big inexperience with the world and surviving and stuff like that. So I'm just in this world trying to pick up the pieces. I'm 22 and I don't really know what the fuck to do. And there's not a single night where I'm not clawing my brain out, trying to figure out what I can do because you got to make a certain amount of money so that you can just exist because that's all I want to do. All I want to do is exist. Fuck a family. Fuck love. You know, f- even fuck a social life. I just want to exist and be able to do so comfortably. But even that is so complex and so complicated in today's world because of the cost of living and the hyper competitive job market. And I mean, we can list all the f- the goddamn things that just makes it hard to just exist but there's not a single night that i'm not clawing my brain out trying to figure out what the hell to do as a guy that's in generally just inexperienced with the world and everything is daunting to me and everything is scary and going to a new place it terrifies the shit out of me because i'm just someone that's very used to what I know and what I'm comfortable with. And it's very difficult for me to be able to venture out. Right. And for people that can just naturally just venture out and do all these different things. Many of them have, have had positive reinforcement from people when they were young and just have rich social lives. And it's very hard for someone like me or like many of you black pillars, us, um, weirdos and stuff to be able to just just do what they do right and so that is one way I feel a lot of mental anguish just thinking about how to survive in this world right I mean let alone a woman let alone a family guys I don't think I'm ever gonna see a woman again in my life and I'm not I'm not surprised if I don't right I at this point so be it I'm just trying to I'm just trying to survive and live live at least a comfortable life to support myself. That's all I can really worry about, right? And another mouth is just I don't know guys, but mental anguish guys, one way you're going to feel it from this world is definitely through this economic shit. That's how I'm suffering through it right now, right? But then also just in general social isolation it does something to the mind i used to have pride when i was younger i used to say oh i can just go home and just play my games and not be affected and i all these people around me are 
you know, competing for each other's attention, all in all this drama and just caring about people's opinions. And when I was young, when I was younger, I didn't really give a fuck about whether or not I was alone. But as I grow older now, it just, I don't know, it's just taking a toll on me, right? I think it's that the expectations of you should be having friends now, you should be having girls or a girl or whatever and stuff like that and when you don't have that stuff now as a young adult adult man then there's there's just that dread that feeling of dread that you get that you're just not doing something right that you're failing in some capacity and that's kind of what I feel I try to remind myself that you know it is what it is and you know, not everybody is going to be having the same type of life. Not every man can just get a bunch of women and stuff like that. And that's OK. Right. We're all human at the end of the day. Some of us will win. Some of us will lose. Right. That's how I try to look at it. But inevitably, the the instinct that we all have inside of us to just want to socialize, it gets to me sometimes. And so what I do just like Jinx on the screen is I create an alter ego and I talk to myself, which by the way, guys, if you needed any more proof that I didn't grow up completely and that I'm, that something's wrong with me, the fact that I'm obsessed with Jinx, this fictional girl from Arcane that you're seeing on the screen, which by the way, she is an amazing character, amazingly written and very tragic. And I do see some of myself in her, and maybe that's why I'm so obsessed. But, you know, you know, guys, if you needed any more proof that I'm a bit off the fucking rails, then there, there that is. But, um, yeah, guys, it's just, it's tough. It's very tough. And, you know, some people will say that, well, just go and talk to people, right? Just go outside, just um, go to some event or just go to work and talk to people it's hard. It's hard. Your body, when you have this thing called social anxiety or whatever the fuck they call it, your body just doesn't want to do the things you tell it to do. You tell your body, you tell your face to just look at that person in the general direction. Just look at them. It can't be that hard. Just look at them. But your eyes just don't want to look in that direction. And you're wondering like, why? And then the other person thinks that you're awkward and or that you're being an, an asshole or something and you just can't make that eye contact and i don't know why right it's it seems so simple and maybe it is so simple for normal people to just talk it, it's not hard to talk i'm talking right now what's the difference man what's the difference in doing what i'm doing right now but to someone else's face why is it so hard I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's that's the theme of this video. I don't fucking know. Right? It should be easy to just exist and be a human being and just have fun. And it should be easy. So why is it so fucking hard? I don't get it. I don't get it. I know I don't have a right to complain. There's people... Facing far more hardships and adversity than I am. There's people starving. There's people just out there in the worst situations being tortured. People getting robbed and stuff like that. And I know I don't have the right to complain. But, you know, if you clicked on this channel, you clicked on this channel. You should know what to expect. I will say, guys, for the guys that have been talking to me online, you know, you, you are a great help. I right, thank you guys a lot. Shout out to all the guys on my Discord. Shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for just talking with me and talking amongst yourselves and having that sense of community. It's very important that we as Black Pillars to keep our mental sanity because many of us suffer through this mental anguish. It's very important that, you know, we just try to be kind to one another and we just try to be cool with one another. That's That's about it, guys. But yeah just suffering in this world guys you just wonder well, just why are you here because for me i just don't have that 
I just don't have a purpose in being here. I don't have, I'm not living for anyone. You know, to me, love is dead. Family is dead. There's no such thing. I see the black pill clearly. I see human nature for what it is. I know the truth about this world. And so I don't really have hopes for these things. So I'm just kind of just drifting, existing, just trying to pleasure myself however I can. But even that's becoming numbing and difficult. And it's it's a lot, guys. You know, they say that you need to believe in something greater than yourself to keep going in this life. But the big magic man in the sky that you know, some many of many people believe is not something that all of us can believe. Right. Some of us probably just weren't meant for this life straight up. Some of us should have never been born. Right. I believe I should have never been put here. I should have never been put here. I, I believe that wholeheartedly. But here we are. And what can we do but try to make the best of the cards we've been dealt? Right. Even if we got to mix them up and shuffle them up a hundred times, try to make the best of what we got and see if we sink, see if we fall. That's about it. That's about all I can say about that, man. Right. I'm very sorry for you brothers out there suffering the same kind of mental anguish. It's not an easy thing to deal with, you know, and you're mostly alone, probably if you're a male. You're mostly alone and you got to deal with it. You and your alter ego, you got to deal with it alone. And not not all of us are strong enough to deal with it alone. Some of us succumb to it and some of us do things that we should have never, we should never do. Some of us just press the game over button <laughs> in, in that sense. But yeah, guys, I just rambled for no reason. I'm very sorry. I'm 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 off the rails tonight. I I don't know what the fuck I'm saying, but let me stop talking. Let me stop wasting you guys' time. Very sorry. If you think I was pathetic or whatever, and I don't have the right to complain, tell me. Let me know. You're probably right, but you clicked on this video, and I don't have anyone else to talk to. You guys are all I have. I just scream into the void in these videos, and whoever relates hopefully leaves a like leaves a comment that's all i can hope for guys but thank you for listening and i hope you guys are doing better than me peace out <laughs>